what we're going to be doing is, just as a sort of uh, nice, easy introduction, is just having a look at some of these worked examples, and uh, they're, not, they're not arduous. If you know how to differentiate, and your understanding of chain rule, product rule, quotient rule is sound, then you'll eat these for breakfast. However, if you're like, actually, mine is definitely not sound, I learned that in the review questions this morning, um, then these will be a little more challenging, and that's kind of why I want to make sure we're on the same page together, okay? So I've just picked out a few from one, and two, and as you can see, we're gonna go um, far beyond that during um, our time to work today, but we'll get to those examples a bit later on. Let's have a look at the ones I've selected. First, one j, so it's over there, y equals two sine three x. So if we are differentiating this, dy on dx, let's just step through it one step at a time. As with when we've been differentiating polynomials, if I gave you something like, say, I'll do it over here, you don't have to write this. If I gave you something like, um, oops, messy, sorry. If I gave you something like, say, 5x cubed, right? What do you do with that 5? Like, mentally, what do you do with it? Kind of just like, put it to one side for a minute, right? It doesn't deeply affect what you are differentiating. So you kind of mentally put that away, and then you focus on the other part of it, the x cubed, right? The x cubed, of course, is 3x squared. So you're like, oh, that 3x squared, I'm going to now combine it back with that 5. So the way we would say this is when you've got a constant coefficient right at the front, it doesn't really affect your differentiation. 15x squared, off you go. Same deal here. So this 2 will just momentarily forget about it. We'll come back to it, okay? We're going to focus on this sine 3x. Now we already know what the derivative of regular old sine x is, but when we stick an extra number in here, what's going on? Well this is a function sine of another function, 3x. So we're going to do with this what we've been doing with function of a function, chain rule, all along. We'll differentiate this bit, and then we'll differentiate the whole thing, okay? So can you tell me what's the derivative of 3x? It's just 3, right? So I'm going to write that 3, right there. There's the inside derivative, as it were. Now the outside is sine. What does sine turn into? Cos, right? So therefore, this is going to next be cos, but it's not cos of x, it's cos of 3x. If you wrote the whole long chain rule notation, it would be cos of u. Like you'd call this, you'd call this u, right? But I'm trying to be as succinct as I can, so I'm just saying, okay, well this is cos of u, which is 3x. You've done this part, and now we need to put back that 2 that we kind of forgot about earlier on, right? So therefore this part is just going to give you 2 times that. So final answer, 6 cos 3x, and you're finished. I mean, maybe I'll just write it just here for completeness, 6 cos 3x. So you can see there's the different components you're doing each one at a time. Let's look at t. The one that I've chosen for t is y equals 6 cos x on 3. I'm going to differentiate 6 cos x on 3. Let's see if we can do that same se series of steps, but one at a time. I'm actually going to start, it's a bit weird, right? I'm going to start at the end. The x on 3 is the first thing that we looked at here, it was 3x. So what's the derivative of that inside part, x on 3? Derivative of x on 3, we could do that, right? That's going to be a third, because I would write this as a third times x. So you're just going to have a third. That cos is going to turn into, just be watchful, cos turns into negative sine when you differentiate it. So I'm going to write that as negative sine, but it's not sine x, it's sine of x on 3. Whatever was there before, it just sort of carries along, right? And then the last piece of the puzzle is that 6 that was hanging out the front there, right? So now, noticing that I've got the 6, the, a third, and the minus, and you put them all together, you'll get negative 2, and then the rest of it. Is that okay? 